Hi, welcome to Easy CA Tutorials, where we teach you how to deploy a PKI infrastructure using our cloud tool, Easy CA. So in the previous video, we created our, our root certificate. So in this video, we're gonna create our subordinate certificate. So once again, we go to portal.easyca.io and then we click certificate authorities. We click create a CA. And here we're gonna select a subordinate um, CA, we're going to enter the name. We're just going to do infrastructure two, or actually I already have one. So I'm just going to call it infrastructure eight. And then you can add organization. So that's usually your company name. And then like your organization unit or OU as known. And then the country name, we're just going to skip that stuff. We don't really need it. And then here, same as with the root certificates, you want to choose the cryptography that is compatible with your clients, but it's as secure as possible. We default to RSA 4k since it's usually the most compatible and it's secure enough. And lifetime and revocation. So in here we're making the CA to be two year validity period and uh, the notification email, this is just like an extra alias you can add. Either way, all your PKI admins will be notified with anything in the CAs. And then in here you have the lifetime action. So we actually support automatic CA rotation. And if you are pulling your CAs from our endpoint and if you have the root trust and everything, technically you should be able to, as long as you are able to build the, the chain all the way to the root, you should be able to automatically renew your CAs, which prevents you from having an outage but it's something that we recommend testing out and everything before you do automatic so i would start with email make sure that the rotations go smoothly and then after that you can change it to automatic curl distribution so that's the certificate revocations list if so if you revoke a certificate or something you post it to that list we do all that for you you don't have to care about it but we give you the option if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. And by default, we do it for a week with a two hour overlap. You can change that overlap and that length of the certificate revocation list to fit your revocation practices. So then after that, we're going to click next. Uh, and here is the maximum certificate validity period. So this CA will only issue certificates that are maximum 30 days. You can change that as large as you want and as small as you want. Uh, 30 days is a good compromise since uh, I'll show in other videos, we automate the whole cert creation. So it, it'll it just happen automatically. So it's a good compromise to just do 30 days. And then in here you set up your primary location for your CA. So in here, we're just gonna do East US and you can add a secondary location and you can just call it like infra eight and then do like Europe and we'll put it in North Europe. The only thing in here is you have to acknowledge that you are creating a secondary full CA. So like we'll, you will be charged for two CAs, but it will be very easy to create and manage all the domain registrations and everything will be managed as one CA, but you have the geo redundancy of being in multiple parts of the world at once. In this case, we're just going to create one and we're going to go ahead and create it. And as simple as that, you have your certificate signing requests. So in here, we have two options. In here, I'm going to do the easy one that is changing it to an easy CA. So we created in the previous video, a root CA that we can just chain it up to. But if you want to, you can grab the CSR, copy it and take it to your ADCS or your root CA that you usually use and sign it there. We actually cover that in our documentation. So you can go to our documentation and it will guide you through how to do it in Windows and everything. But in here, we're just going to do a simple one. So just going back, you select your root CA that you have in easy CA, click create CA. And as simple as that, you have your certificate. So that's how you create a subordinate SSL CA in easy CA. In the next video, we're going to teach you how to register a domain and request your first certificate.